Hi, welcome to Project Design IO. If you have access to the exercise files, please open the file indicated here and follow with me. Otherwise, you can just watch. Before we actually start producing any reports, we need to think about what is the purpose. If I am publishing my reports for approval, there is five critical reports, one optional. Selectivity study, and you need to start from that one. Cable calculations, cable schedule, including the submain cables, load summary, and circuit chart. Then optionally, protected device setting. If you are gonna publish the report to your guys on site, so for construction, then you need four reports. Cable schedule with the submains, unless you already have this on your schematic. Distribution board schedule number three, not the circuit chart. Protective device settings, which is not a longer optional, is critical for construction. And then I would also issue a ZS measurement report. Those four reports are the most useful for construction. Okay, it might be counterintuitive, but you should really start with selectivity reports as these most likely will show errors, which may lead to additional changes in protected device type or size, and therefore may impact your cable selection and affect all other reports you have made so far. So please don't go ahead and create cable calculation reports until you actually done the selectivity study. So let's just get going. Okay, first of all, I need to close the devices, the incoming, so I can calculate. I can actually click selectivity study, but instead I will go to reports and go energy-based selectivity study. That's the best one to start off because it may actually change device selection. Select from the list and I will go through the whole installation. So I'm selecting all of them and press OK. Straight away, I can I could see I've got two reds. Most of the cables are okay. I don't need to read them because I can see those two cables are not right. Let's just select a 12,000, go protection and view graph. Now, let me do it differently. I go to the 10,000, go protection, views and view graph. Looks like the device is overlapping and I think that's what's causing the issue because this is the same views as 11,000 cable. So obviously I can't achieve discrimination, cancel that. Let's set this up correctly. I have at the moment 630 amp device in the transformer and 600 amp fuses, outgoing ways of this LV1. That is not right, it will never work. Let's try to do something with it. What is the transformer? 1000 kVA is about 1440 amps. I'm gonna change the protection to Schneider and W1600 H1 Micrologic 2A 1600. I'm gonna set this to 1280. That is my protected device set as 1280 amps. So my cable is probably not good. I'm gonna select non-magnetic single core 70 degree armet and i will go for cable ladder and i go flat touching and i'm gonna select 400 mil in parallel not grouped with other circuits and i will select 400 cpc separate on it should work the so first let's just calculate now cable selection is less than the calculator required Okay, let's go flat space 674. Right, let's try now. Okay, this is good. So we've got flat space arrangement, 1600 amp frame ACB with 1600 amp trip unit. The trip unit is set to 1280. So now I bet discrimination looks much better. If I go to protection, view graph, now, well, they still overlap, but I've got some, I can set this up, but I'm I'm going to change the 630 to something different. I'm going to say this cable will be protected by Schneider NSX 400 Type N, Micrologic 23 400 amp, and I set this to a maximum. And I'll do the same in here. Protection, change, Schneider NSX 400 N, 400. Okay, okay. Calculate. Okay, it looks good. No errors. Now, Let's go back to my reports and energy base selectivity. Okay, those cables are right. There's some problems there. 
cancel this because I've got error with circuit 22 so let's see what device we have 22 three frames circuit uh, because it's set to auto future provision okay I'm gonna change this to no protection this is my future provision this is how I add like a kind of dummy load the cables should be set to the same size as my incoming cable what have I done 95 mil which I believe it, it is what it is otherwise I would set this to auto but I think this cable here is uh, that's 35 mil so okay the other cable for the dummy load is bigger so that will definitely work and that has no protection so now I should have no error what I'm going to do now I'll go selectivity rather than running report I will achieve the same result okay I have no error now but there is something in yellow ah that's the information that there is no data for five core cables isn't it five core data unavailable that's for my dummy load no manufacturer's data available for the energy base selectivity between the upstream of current protection and this one okay there is no data uh, because i have fuse in here protection 100 amp generic fuse and then mccb schneider in here that's why basically there is no manufacturer's data available and uh, and you can only get the energy based discrimination tables if your protected devices all the way downstream are from the same manufacturer if you use a different device or generic device you will not be able to prove energy based discrimination simple as that but i'm pretty sure 100 amp fuse will discriminate with 400 amp mccb okay so i haven't got any other faults with selectivity and as you see i've changed some cable sizes and i've changed some protective devices so if i've produced a calculation reports before then that will just waste time that's why it's very important to do this in this specific order let's go to reports now and go create energy based selectivity report i select them all obviously you can choose what you want to produce and i believe all my energy based is okay with exception where there's no data as i said there's no data no manufacturer's data between schneider devices and the generic fuses you will simply not find such a data what you can do is just turn those breakers off the report so they don't just show otherwise you will have a necessary question from the consultant and you will waste time explaining it and if you won't include that it's obvious that 100 amp uh, fuse achieve energy based discrimination or selectivity between 6 1600 acb it's it's so obvious but there's no data so someone who don't understand it may question it and you will just waste time answering it the easiest way to do it is go a report energy base select from the list and i'm going to simply exclude them i will not include that so i go to db kitchen and i've got few circuits which says no data 101 102 103 201 i'm not going to select them all but you can just untick the ones you don't want to show press ok report will produce and the circuits where you had no data are not included those here remaining final circuits that's the that's because of the rcbo there's no data for rcbo but obviously there is no problem with energy based discrimination between 1600 amp acb and 32 amp mcb or any any mcb so that's why I'd, i suggest you just untick all those circuits so they don't appear in your report now let's go uh, time time current selectivity select from the list and there should not be an error everything is okay and you can just include this report save as include this report and send to the consultant for approval sometimes the consultant may actually ask you for the graphical representation of your selectivity in this case well one of the ways is let's say protection to graph and you can send him screenshot of that you can create separate report in trimble protect but to keep it simple i would take a screenshot of that and include that in your report as a backup to the table report confirming this is okay sometimes consultants actually want to see the graphical representation as a proof that there is a the discrimination has been achieved
Okay, I'm going to save this as file. This file will be included in the exercise files. Thank you very much for watching.